Yeah. Andy Sauer is going to be competing at Risen um, on, on December 31st. The, the big return show, Fedor Emelianenko appearing on the show. Uh, you know, Yoshihira uh, Nag- Nagashima, yeah. you're going to be fi- facing. I, I, I nailed that name, I did. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's going to be your opponent. Yeah, yeah. Um, look, I know this is your first professional MMA fight. But a lot of people kind of overlooking your, ex- of course, your experience in kickboxing, but your experience in, in, in shoot boxing as well. Yeah. Do you think? You know, would you say that's the case? I think, I think, I think, I think uh, it, it helped me. But you have to believe me when I'm saying I didn't train MMA uh, proper, is it proper, proper, yeah, properly. Properly, properly. You know, I didn't didn't do it seriously, and I just saw some things. And I sometimes I trained with it, but. Not, n- not properly, you know. So uh, I do it now for the last three months. I do it uh, every day, and I love, I love to do it, you know. And when you love something and you like it, then it, then it's going. It can, it, it can go fast because I'm training also with other kickboxers. Mm-hmm. And the coaches are all telling oh, all keyboards are stiff. <laughs> yeah, okay, so yeah. uh, and they say, but maybe they just say it be, because I'm in front of them, mm. and mm. they they want to hurt my uh, my my feelings. They <laughs> say, no, nah, you're an athlete. You're not a keyboard. You're an athlete. Yeah. So it sounds like they they give me a compliment, but uh, but it feels also yeah. not that I'm I want to want to act uh, or talking tough about myself. But it's just I love to do it, and I try to 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 focus on 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 the on the, on the exercise that they give me, you know, and and uh, try to do it as as good as possible. And for 8 31 December, I already said it, so, so, uh, said it in the interviews in Japan uh, last week. Um, I'm trying to 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 show that I'm more than only a kickboxer striker. Yeah. Rico Verhoeven, Robin Van Roosmaal, and they're all moving over to MMA. You, you know, you're there as well. Yeah. Why? It seems that there's a movement now in in, in the Netherlands yeah. from very experienced kickboxers making that move. You know, can you explain why? I think it because of the ki- kickboxing is not that uh, interesting anymore. It's simple. We have a lot of problems over here. You know, like 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 uh, governments and and financial financially things, uh, and also the the. the uh, deflection with 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 crim- uh, criminals, you know, that we had over here. Uh, while it's not that uh, true, but yeah. that's another yeah. another story and another opinion that I uh, that I have. Uh, but uh, since then, it is going downwards, and uh, yeah. Uh, I also t- 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 told it to a lot of people. Uh, I feel that I'm done with kickboxing personally. Yeah. I'm done with kickboxing not only because of the. Uh, everybody died of uh, everybody. Uh, the, the, the sports died because yeah. of the organizations uh, like K1 uh, and Glory just want to have American and North American fighters mostly, you know, and they're focusing on the uh, on another another uh, business business things, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, I think I'm I'm done with kickboxing. Yeah. I'm 33 years old, and I feel that I'm not done with fighting yet. Mm-hmm. I have st- I've I've still some fire in my mm-hmm. in my body, and I just. Uh, I try to do some so things that I like, yeah. you know, and this is what I like. I still feel it like I'm, 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 I'm like a baby who's doing uh, <laughs> crazy things, yeah. you know. And but still, I, I love it, and it's always uh, having fun when you do something when, when you have uh, when you love it. Yeah. So uh, let's do it. And I also said, if it, if it's not gonna work out. I will quit. I will go to everything, and I will go focus on my gym and uh, other yeah. uh, uh, things that I have in mind. Just lastly, Andy. Yeah. Um, you're 33, as you mentioned. What's the ultimate goal then in MMA? You know, what do you see as something attainable for you? Yeah, you know, I, I already uh, trained with Aldo for a couple of years, mm. and I saw a lot of things. Uh, what interested, uh, what inter- what was interesting for me, uh, just because I looked to it and I wanted to know why and wh- how they did it, and the whole story, and yeah, that's what made me uh, thinking that I just wanted to do it. I, I was saying, uh, especially in the beginning, I always said hi. Can I buy a chip or some uh, yeah. something else where I, uh, where I can uh, use the, the the things that mm. they just put it on a chip and I just plug it in in my ass <laughs> or something you know and then fuck yeah. and I have all details Super all MMA powers, yeah, yeah yeah you know <laughs> because I want it so bad you yeah. know but we all know that we have to train for it and uh, yeah let's let's give it a chance that's how uh, uh, how I'm thinking about it yeah. Andy, thank you so, so much for your time. It's an absolute privilege to, to sit here and talk to you, an absolute legend, and wishing you the best of luck on, on New Year's Eve in, in Japan. Thanks thank you. Me. You're welcome. Thank you. Oos. MMA m- m- plus. Okay. Oos. <laughs> <laughs>